from a six pack. You're supposed to. I can't put it in there. We're trying to identify the victim. This isn't the victim. No thanks. Looks pretty official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. Just there's it's a filing cabinet. Hmm, looks pretty official. Anything coming out of this can be used to arrest someone. Just a bunch of files. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Let me know if I can help you. Hi there, I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes of the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. I'm going to look around your store. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? I like working a case alone. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Mr. 
So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? Oh, <laughs> no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man! Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pfft, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to look around your store. How about that sunset? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do... Hello, Agent Ray.
it doesn't work from a six pack. You're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Not nah. from a six pack. From a six pack. You're su from a six pack. You're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to.